children of stand up for today we are going to discuss our third chapter that is animals and their young ones in our previous classes we studied about the characteristics of living things and one of the characteristic of living thing is to reproduce their own kind for the continuity of their race so children all of us know that all the living organisms reproduce and give their young ones you can say all living beings such as human animals plants and microorganisms are born grow live for a certain period of time and then die to ensure the continuity of life the living beings must produce more of their own kind before they die so the process by which living organisms produce more of their own kind is called reproduction so children there are two ways of reproduction in animals animals reproduce by two ways first is they give birth to young ones directly and second they lay eggs animals such as cow dogs cats mouse elephants lions and whales give birth to their young ones babies animals such as birds fish frog tortoises crocodiles and snakes lay eggs their young ones hatch out of the eggs so when we talk about laying eggs by animals there are some animals such as birds fish turtles frogs that they lay eggs they are called egg laying animals and these animals lay eggs at safe places some of these animals sit on the eggs to keep them warm under suitable conditions the egg breaks and baby comes out of it so the journey of an embryo developing into a young one is called life cycle of the animal when we talk about the animals that lay eggs female birds lay eggs in their nests they build their nests by using different materials such as twigs pieces of clothes grass and leaves one of the parent bird sits on the eggs for some days to keep them warm and this process is called incubation a hard outer shell a hard outer shell protects the egg and the yellow part present in the center of the egg is called yolk it contains a bright white spot that develops into a baby a growing baby inside the egg is called embryo the developing embryo obtains food from the yolk and the white part of the egg called albumen surrounds the yolk albumen protects the embryo from shocks and jerks it provides water to the developing embryo and the embryo goes through various stages when the chick is fully developed it breaks the egg shell and come out of the egg this process is called hatching the parent bird feeds their babies till they are strong enough to look after themselves so 
we can see that all animals reproduce by either laying eggs or by giving birth to babies. Animals such as bird, frog, fish, insects and reptiles lay eggs. An egg has an outer shell, a yellow portion in the center called yolk and a white watery substance called albumen that surrounds the yolk. Children, one thing is very important to know that albumen and yolk both have protein. An egg contains protein and all of us know and we studied about the egg uh, that uh, the birds sit on eggs. They The high level of parental care is seen in case of birds and mammals and birds before they lay eggs they prepare a bird to protect their eggs and to keep them warm. They are taking care of their eggs and uh, they go through the whole process under their great parental care. The egg shell breaks and the chick uh, comes out. So uh, we can see that the egg uh, is a having shell and inside the egg there is an embryo and yolk and albumen. Yolk provides food to the embryo and when the embryo, embryo uh, goes through the metamorphosis, process of metamorphosis that is change in their body shape and when they become a baby chick they comes out of the egg. So all the uh, the life cycles of some of the egg laying animals we will study in our next class and uh, till uh, then we have to know that the reproduction animals reproduce by two ways one is give birth to young ones and the second one is to lay eggs so uh, when they lay eggs the embryo develops inside the egg and what is the development process, what are their life cycle, we will study in our next class.